What's up everybody? Today we're going to talk about the new Diablo Sport Trinity 2 MX monitor for Ford EV applications. This device will work in Lightnings and mach -E's, and it gives you all the relevant information you would need in real time to keep an eye on what's happening with your battery powered Ford. Right now the device is asleep. We'll go ahead and start the vehicle up. And you'll see that simply touch it and it'll wake up. I'll talk to the vehicle for a second, get some data, and then we'll be streaming in no time. Okay, now we're live. You can see here we're displaying some temperatures and torque requests. We can check a couple of the other screens here. See some more PID data, and then we're gonna scroll over to our charging screen because we're hooked up to the charger right now. And you can see on the screen here, you can see uh, the current and amperage, the actual charging volts, the percentage of battery remaining, the battery age in months. You can see the state of charge, which interestingly does not always match what is displayed on the dash. And you can see the battery temperature. Again, if you have a lightning and you see battery temp on the dash, it does not always fluctuate the way this actual temperature does. So it's neat to be able to see this actual information on the screen in real time while you're driving. Right now I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the charger and we'll go ahead and take it for a ride. And you can watch what happens when we unplug the charger. Okay, you can see what happened when we turned the charger off. Some things dropped, some things changed. We're gonna go ahead and check a couple other screens here. Go back to the first screen and take ourselves for a ride. Okay, you can see that as we move everything, everything that happens is displayed on the screen in real time. For starters, you can see on this screen, we've got the motor inverter temperatures. We've got torque request. We've got uh, kilowatts and motor wattage. We've got the regen in kilowatt hours and the DC current as well as motor current and amperage. One of the big things that you'll notice is uh, the performance of these vehicles varies widely. Um, you can punch it at low speeds and you'll feel like you get a big surge of torque whereas if you punch it at over 60 miles an hour you notice a much less surge of torque and that's easily distinguished right here when, when watching the actual torque request. You can see it at rest, we're at zero pound feet. As soon as we let off the brake, the motors activate and, and basically go to idle and you start getting some torque and it starts moving the vehicle. And then as you give it some throttle, you'll see the torque request increase. You see the temperatures are fluctuating in real time, pretty rapidly. There's always something happening as far as temperature change, whether it's the battery or the motors. The car is in unbridled mode right now. And you can see that when you lift off the throttle, the torque request goes negative, which is an indication that you're gonna start slowing down. If you put the car back in whisper mode, you'll notice that the torque request only goes to zero when you come to a stop, which is why the car will just seemingly roll forever as if it's in neutral when you let off the throttle in those situations. If you switch it to one pedal mode, you'll see the torque requests go very negative which is why you get so much braking effect when you lift off the throttle in that mode. Go ahead and give it a little throttle here and see the torque request increase. That's really helpful to see what kind of capability you have as far as torque output while you're driving around if you're chasing performance. And we're gonna go ahead and switch screens here and take a look at some of the other data that we have to display. So you can see at the top left here, we've got wheel RPM, left front wheel RPM, top right is right front wheel RPM. We've got the motor wattage in the middle. We've got uh, the power output surrounding that. There's a lot of good data on this screen regarding the batteries and the motors to give you an idea of what sort of uh, range you have left, what sort of power capabilities you have. These kind of things can come in incredibly handy when you're road tripping and want to see what sort of degradation you're getting out of the battery. You can you can see what the degradation curve is like since it's generally not a linear discharge rate while you're driving and that really helps. You can also see things like you know what sort of torque output can be maintained to keep the battery alive for longer. Um, if you need to create 80 or 90 foot pounds of torque to maintain highway speed you'll see the battery draining quite a bit faster than if you were only looking for 60 or 70 foot-pounds of torque. 
And these are the kind of things that will really help you correlate what's going on in the vehicle and why it's happening at the same time. All the data that's on the screen can be configured by the user. We built these layouts to be ideal for everybody, but you have the option to go in and change the position or location of any of the PIDs that are being displayed. You can change them out for different parameters. You can move them to different screens, different pages. You can even change the look and feel of any of these pages using different preloaded themes or color options. There's a complete color palette option in the device where you can go through and change the, the look and feel. We also give you the ability to upload your own custom backgrounds. So if you want to have a picture of your Maki or Lightning on the screen behind the gauges, that's totally an option as well. The device is also packed with some cool features like performance tests. It'll measure your zero to 60, zero to 100, eighth mile or quarter mile performance. And that can be really neat to test at different states of charge to see how the performance drops off from a fully charged battery to a weaker battery over time. We'll go ahead and go back here to our charging screen. You can see some good data there. This doesn't move around as much while you're driving as it is pretty specific to what's going on with the battery, but you will glean some information from this over the long term for sure. Another really cool benefit of this device is all this data can be recorded while you're driving around. So at any time you can just pull down from the top screen, click this button, and now you're recording data. This data can be easily uploaded and played back on our free DV2 software that's a download from the Diablo Sport website. And that gives you the ability to really dig in and analyze the data, play it back in, in any speed you want, or even export it to a CSV and dig through the data that way, analyze it in any sort of way that you'd like. There's probably a lot of really in-depth information you can glean from the battery health and torque output and current draws that'll tell you a lot about the state of your vehicle and its health overall. Hopefully you guys see this information as something that'll be useful in your day-to-day -day commute with your Lightning or Mach-E. If you've got any questions about these products, please check them out on our website at diablosport.com. And we'll keep working on some new stuff for these EV applications.